Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into the different features of blockchain technology. So I have listed the most important five features of blockchain technology. So the first feature is distributed nature of blockchain. So as I already told you that every single participant that is involved in the blockchain network will be having the ledger copy with them. And this makes it efficient to track the ledger changes. That means if any changes occur in a particular ledger which belongs to person A, the same changes will also occur to the ledger which belongs to person B, provided that they both are a part of the same network. This is only possible because of the distributed nature of blockchain technology. Now, the nodes verify the transaction for fairness. Since this particular blockchain technology is distributed, that is why the role of every single node in verification of the transaction takes place. So this makes it a fair play for every single node present inside the pool of transactions. Now, equal procedures for all the participants. That means every single participant will be having the same privilege. There will be no special treatment to any of the user or node. Now, this will eliminate the intermediaries and accelerate the response time. So, there will be no involvement of central authority, which is again one of the feature of the blockchain technology, which we are going to look into next. So, I hope the distributed nature of the blockchain technology as a feature is clear to you all. The distributed nature of blockchain technology makes it possible for every single node to track each and every small changes also in the ledger. So I hope it is clear. Now let's move on to the next feature of blockchain that is the decentralized nature. So many might get confused between the distributed and decentralized nature of blockchain. They both are different thing. Decentralized nature of blockchain means there is no central authority that is involved in the process. A group of nodes maintains the network. That means every single node who is involved in that particular network, all of them will be equally treated. All of them will be responsible for any single change that occurs inside the blockchain network. The organized blockchain reduces dependence on human calculation, minimizing the accidental failures. So because of this decentralized nature, there will be a fault tolerant system that will be maintained inside the blockchain network. It makes it fault tolerant. There will be no such accidental failures. Users will directly control the assets without reliance on third party. That means there will be no some central authority or any third party who will be involved in making decisions. Every single decisions will be dependent on the node that are involved in that particular blockchain network. Now, this decentralized nature makes the malicious attacks more expensive for hackers, reducing the likelihood of system breakdown. Now, let's say we have a blockchain network and in that blockchain network, there are total 10 million users. Or I would say there are total 10 million nodes. Now, if one hacker wants to make some small changes in the ledger of person A, who is a part of this particular blockchain network, then, then in that particular case, if that particular hacker tries to change this particular ledger information, then it won't be reflected in every single ledger which is present with this 10 million users or 10 million nodes who are present inside this blockchain network. So, if a hacker wants to make any changes, any slight changes, the hacker will have to change 10 million ledgers. All the ledgers must be changed. Then only the hacker will be able to make changes in the entire blockchain network. If one single ledger is changed, then automatically the blockchain network is intelligent to track that some malicious activity is getting here and that won't be allowed. So that is why even the hacker have to do a small malicious attack, then also it is going to be very much extremely expensive for that particular hacker to execute this malicious attack. And of course, it is so much computationally expensive and also it is time consuming. So I hope this decentralized nature 
as a feature in blockchain technology is clear to you all. Now, let's move on to the next feature of blockchain, which is the immutability of the blockchain. See, immutability is a key feature ensuring the permanence and unalterable nature of the blockchain network. As I already told you, the blocks that are going to be added in the blockchain, for example, if we have this particular chain of blocks, let's say we have three chain of blocks. Now, if a transaction happens between node A and B, there is a need to add a block in this particular chain of three blocks, then that block will be added. Now, once the block is added after successful verification, if the transaction that has occurred has to be rolled back, that means if the nodes want to make some changes or the nodes want this particular block to be deleted from the chain of block, then it won't be possible because the chain that is created, it is immutable. Once it is created, it cannot be changed, even it cannot be deleted. So this immutability nature of blockchain makes it secure. A blockchain network cannot be changed. So I hope this particular property or this particular feature of blockchain is very much clear to you all. This feature makes the blockchain network more secure. I hope this is clear. Now let's move on to the next feature, which is nothing but secure. The blockchain is the most secure technology. Now, what all thing makes it secure? Let's have a look. See, all the records in the blockchain are individually encrypted. That means every single record or every single transaction that takes place will be encrypted separately and will be encrypted with the best algorithms that are present in this particular date. Next thing, every piece of data on the blockchain is cryptographically hashed. Now, I already told you the advantages of using a hash function or the hashing technique. Hash makes it possible to create a fixed length output from any length input as well as this hash output cannot be used for computation of the input. That means it is irreversible. So this irreversible nature of the hash function makes any single transaction very much secure. And blockchain is all about hashing. Every single bit is hashed in blockchain, which makes it the best in terms of security. Now, each block contains a unique hash, as I already told you, whenever one block is created, it will be given a nonce, as well as the previous block hash will also be stored in the current block. Now, it is going to create a cryptographic linkage. That means if there is a slight change also, it will be tracked immediately. And once it is tracked, it will be automatically solved. Now, accessing and hacking millions of computers is, is next to impossible and costly. As I already told you in this particular example, if the hacker wants to even do a small change in this particular block or ledger, then in that case, all the nodes that are involved in that particular blockchain network, every single node's ledger will have to be changed. So this is next to impossible. The hacker cannot afford this entire cost as well as the computational resource that will be required for doing so will not be affordable at all. So that is why this thing makes it the most secure technology. So I hope the secure feature of blockchain technology is clear to you all. So now let's move on to the last feature of blockchain technology that I have listed, which is nothing but consensus. So in the previous video also, we have seen what exactly consensus algorithm is as well as what is the use of it. Now, here it becomes a feature because it is the only way through which a quick agreement can be made among all the nodes who are present inside the blockchain network. Now, if there are 10 million nodes inside a network, then in that particular case, there must be some algorithm that every single node has to follow so that any particular transaction will be verified and it will be made valid. So to maintain that uniformness, this consensus algorithm is made and because of which all the nodes will come to a standard as well as a common agreement. Now, various blockchain network use distinct consensus algorithms for fair decision making. So I already told you that there is no single consensus algorithm that is present. There are a lot of consensus algorithm 
proof of work proof of stake proof of activity proof of capacity and there are a lot of other consensus algorithm which are presently used out of which proof of work and proof of stake are widely used ethereum uses proof of stake consensus algorithm now this thing maintains decentralization in blockchain decentralization as a feature we have already seen before so this decentralization is only possible with the help of this consensus mechanism preserving their core value now it also makes the node rely on the algorithm rather than relying on each other that means the nodes that are involved in the blockchain network they are not at all going to rely on each other instead they will be relying on the algorithm that is going to be used inside the network so they will rely on this algorithm and there is no need to rely on the other nodes so this thing makes the consensus mechanism as a feature of blockchain technology so i hope this feature is also clear to you all so this brings us to the end of the video we have seen all the different five features of blockchain technology which makes it the best i hope everything is clear to you all and if you like this particular video please do like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on instagram please post your suggestions and reviews regarding this particular video as well as regarding the upcoming videos in future thanks for watching have a good day ahead